In this video, I'm going to plug in the Linksys DMA2100 Windows Media Center Extender for the very first time. So let's get to it. So I'm up in my attic here, which is somewhat of a familiar space to those of you who follow my channel. And I'm going to set up the Linksys DMA2100 on my 8-foot projection screen. So I have it hooked up via HDMI to my projector. So on your home menu here, you have Windows Media Center and then Settings. So let's go down to Settings here. And we're going to leave this pretty much the same because this is applicable. Let me go over to Network here. And I'm going to go down to Set Up Network. Now right now it's set up to a wired network. So the person who owned this before I did used a wired setup but I like to use a wireless setup with my extenders just because my house is fairly large and pretty old so Ethernet isn't readily available where I have these things set up so actually let me go back up here and set it to a wireless network here and then go to set up network I'm gonna to go to next here so the device detected all the wireless networks in my neighborhood and brought up my wireless network as well. So I signed into my home wireless network and I just edited that out. Now the next selection here it says network setup, address setting. How would you like to obtain your IP address? I'm going to keep it on automatically, which is recommended. And I'm going to go down to next here. All right, setup complete. You have successfully set up your device on your home network. Select finish to exit. So let's go through some of these settings here. I'm gonna back it up a little bit and we're gonna start with video. Now, like I said, pretty much this is representative of my setup here, so we're gonna leave that alone. Then you have an option to change your audio settings. It says audio mode surround. You have uh, surround or stereo. We're gonna keep it on surround and then you have WMA Pro 5.1 decoding. Uh, we're probably gonna leave it on that, on internal. And I do have a 7.1 setup up here. The next selection here is general. You have the option to use a screensaver. Uh, you have power on mode. Let's go into that and see what that's all about. Okay, it says power on mode. What should the device do when powered on? Now, when I powered this on for the first time in this video, you saw that it powered up to the main menu, which included Windows Media Center and then settings. You can access that screen from the remote control. And since this device, unlike the DMA2200, the, this device, the DMA2100, does not have a DVD player in it, I'm probably just going to load up to the Windows Media Center interface on this device. So we're going to change it to Windows Media Center when you power on the device. Uh, you have the remote control options here, remote control learning. If you're not familiar with this feature, it says remote control learning. The extender remote control has the ability to control volume, mute, and power on or off of other devices you may have, such as your television or audio receiver. Let's go back to cancel here. Uh, you can check for updates. You have product support here. Quick setup and reset to factory defaults. Let's check what quick setup is all about. I'm not gonna do this because I pretty much have all my settings the way I want it, just going through them, showing you what they're all about. And I'm going to set this up individually with my Windows Media Center PC. So we're just going to cancel this, but if you'd like to, you could go through the setup process and it'll take you through the whole thing. Let's go to cancel, finish. I'm going to go up here to check for updates because I just want to make sure that this device is running the latest firmware. No new firmware was found. Your current firmware is up to date. Now this device is a discontinued product, so I don't know if Linksys is continuing with firmware updates on this device. But even though they're not supporting it anymore, it still works. So let's back out of this and let's go up to the next selection, which is network. Obviously, we went through that. I set up my home wireless network on this device. And language, main, men main menu language. Obviously, I'm speaking English. And then we have extender here. And this is the last selection that we haven't gone through yet. 
and this is what I'm going to set up now. Now you have Learn More, so if you don't know what a Windows Media Extender is, I don't know why you would buy this device, but it's just giving you a little background on what this thing does. Let's back out and set up Extender. We're going to do that in a second. Uh, remove Setup Info. Let me click on that. Do you want to remove the current extender information? In my case, I'm going to hit yes on this because, again, this device was not factory reset when it was sold to me. So it says extender information removed. You have removed the extender information for this extender. To set this extender up, that's a lot of extenders, by the way. To set this extender up with a Windows Media Center PC, press the green button. Well, we're going to do that last. We're just going to check extender name here. Now, it was named XPTO. We're going to change that. All right. And now we're going to finally set up this extender. Now, in my case, I have a home theater PC running Windows 7. And that's what this device is going to interface with. Again, this is a little bit redundant because I don't know what you'd be doing with this device if you weren't using it as a Windows Media Extender, so you would probably know all this information from the get-go. Then it says, for more information on Extender before setup, select Learn More. To proceed with setup now, select Next. Well, I don't have to learn more about this. I know pretty much about this device. I'm just going to go to Next. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this number, which is an automatically generated number, which is random. So if I would do this a second time, it would be a different number. Uh, in this case, my number is 7104-1315. So I'm going to take that number, and I'm going to enter it into my home theater PC downstairs. So let me do that right now. Okay, I entered in the code on my home theater PC downstairs, and now the two devices are communicating with one another, and what you see here is a representation of Windows Media Center. And that's pretty much what this device does. It beams your Windows Media Center experience from your home theater PC, or just your regular PC if you don't have it set up as a home theater PC, and it enables you to beam your content to the extender to another television in your house. So you have all the features that you would have on Windows Media Center right here. So you have extras, pictures and video, music, movies, TV, sports, tasks. And the interesting thing about this is you can actually watch live TV on this. And of course you have your guide here and you can set up recordings from this guide and as I said you can watch live TV on this device. Now that will enable you to actually pause live TV or rewind live TV. It gives you all the features you would have on your home theater PC provided you have a cable card or a TV tuner card attached to your home theater PC. So I'm just going to back this up here and we're going to take a look at the recorded TV I have on my home theater PC. Now I get a dialog box here that says change view to change the library view and see more items at once, select view list. So basically just telling you that you can view this in different ways. I'm going to hit cancel here. But you can scroll through all the different programs that are taped and then you can filter it in different ways by title, air date, and shared. Now for instance, AMC shows Breaking Bad, The Walking Dead, shows like that, and channels such as AMC, which are more premium channels, will allow you to record those television shows on your DVR. But if you're doing it with Windows Media Center, it will only allow you to record once or copy once, and that copies it to that PC. So if I wanted to watch any of these programs, such as on AMC, on another one of my PCs, I can't. Your basic network channels don't have that restriction. But channels like AMC, HBO, they will only allow you to record to that home theater PC and only watch it on that home theater PC. But a Windows Media Center extender will allow you to watch those programs through the extender on another television set. So that's one of the other values of having one of these devices. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching. 
and I'll see you guys next time.